Hello, Discrete Math, coming at you with some help for um, some of your book work. So you guys are doing well. Uh, this particular problem we're going to look at is how to check the check digit in an ISBN 13 number. And so what you see in front of you is, uh, this is actually our book's ISBN number. And uh, there are 13 digits. The last one is the check digit. We want to verify that. So um, to do this, what we're going to do is you um, take the first digit, you times it by one, you get nine. Second digit, you times it by three, you get 21. Uh, third digit times it by one, you get eight. Uh, then you keep this pattern going, times it by three, that's just zero. Times it by one, that's three. Uh, times it by three, that's six times it by one, that's one, times it by three, that's 27, times it by one, that's six, times it by three, that's 12, times it by one, that's six, and times it by three, that's 24. Now what you do is you get those numbers and you'll add them up. So I'm gonna add this, plus this, plus this, plus this. I'm adding every number as I go across. And what you should get, if you verify this with me, is 123. Now our book denotes that as capital S, um, which stands for sum. And so uh, we have this. And then to verify this, we're going to actually do um, uh, some study in remainders. And so the uh, book gives us this formula for the check digit. It says 10 minus parentheses s mod 10. And we close those brackets there. And then we mod 10 uh, on that. So what uh, mod is, mod is, is short for modulo. And with this, we are going to uh, look for a remainder. And so this is the s here. And so what we're going to do is we work inside here. This is 123 mod 10 which means what's the remainder when we divide by 10? Well, you can kind of look at this number. You're gonna see you're gonna get a remainder of three because 120, uh, 10 goes e evenly into 120 and then there'll be a three left over. So this is actually is gonna give us a three uh, and you'll have 10 minus three, right? We're gonna have that. We're gonna do another mod 10 here. It's gonna turn into seven, seven mod 10. And if you take seven divided by 10 with its remainder, well, not, 10 doesn't go into seven. so seven is the remainder. And uh, what you'll, uh, what we've verified here is the, tech, is the check digit for the ISBN number. You'll see that right there. All right, so I just wanted to uh, show you that. That is how you do an ISBN 13 number. Again, you uh, multiply by one, then by three, then by one, then by three, and you work your way all the way across. Obviously, you're leaving the check digit. You're not using that. You're just, this is what you're gonna verify here. And we see that we do get the correct uh, check digit. That's the algorithm for that. Uh, let's just talk a little bit more about modulo, uh, just briefly. Um, so if I have, uh, say, 125 mod 7, okay, hopefully you guys kind of remember this. Let me show you this by hand. So, uh, you know, the division algorithm, all right, and you can do this in the calculator or whatever, but 7 does not go into 1, 7 goes into 12 one time. Uh, so 1 times 7, 7, subtract down. That is going to give us 5. I bring down the other five, that's 55. Seven times seven is 49. So seven times seven is 49. Subtract down, I get six. Seven does not go into six, that is my remainder. So um, this problem here actually um, can be written like this, 125 uh, divided by seven uh, is equal to 17 plus six divided by seven, right? This is, um, this is the division problem. And so it's seven and 17, and, sorry, it's 17 and six sevenths is what you would get if you uh, were to go into a fractional form and then you could turn it into a decimal. Now, if I multiply everything by seven, it gives me this other form. You get 125 is equal to seven times 17 plus six. So if everything gets multiplied by seven, right? If we kind of distribute the seven here, it's kind of a bad distributive form, but you're taking seven to everything. Here's what we end up with. This number is the remainder. So what we have here is we have our 
uh, we have our dividend and our divisor, right? So our dividend is this number here, dividend. Our divisor was seven. Our quotient was 17. And our remainder uh, is right here at the end. I'll just call it R is six. And so this form is one that you should get used to. Every, every integer can be written in this form. And so, um, you know, this is an important form uh, to recognize. So actually, if we were to, what's 125 mod seven? Well, the answer to that is it's six. Okay, uh, let's just do go a little simpler here. Let's just say, hey, 15 mod seven. I guess that's one. Uh, you know, what about 16 mod seven? I hope that you can guess that as well. That's two. Hey, what about 14 mod seven? Uh, that's zero. And so, you know, when you have a modulus um, of a number, you're gonna have that many um, possibilities for a remainder starting at zero. So for seven, the possible remainders are zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. There's seven uh, remainders that are possible mod seven. And so zero is the first one if you put them in order. So, you know, any modulo, uh, 13, there's 13, obviously starting at zero and et cetera. They, they form a group of numbers called congruence classes, which we're not gonna talk about right now, but um, all the integers really can be broken down into these, these classes. There's only, there's only seven of them for mod seven. So kind of interesting, but uh, a little bit about the modulus and I uh, hope that helps you guys out. And again, have a great day. Nice sharing some math with you.